Hello everyone, welcome back to RGB Tech. So today in this video, I'm going to set up and test the latest WinLater version 8 on a low-end Snapdragon device. I have already covered, it's about the latest update of the WinLater. If you missed that video, make sure to check out the carts or in description. All right, so this is my Samsung device running on six gigs of RAM, which is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G with Adreno 619 GPU on the latest Android 14 One UI 6. All right, now simply open WinLater. Enable storage permission, same as usual. It starts to install system files. All right, now head over to settings. Here the input API is set to both. Setbox 64 version to default 0.3.0 version and preset to performance. Here the wine version is as usual. Now save settings, create new container. Set resolution to lowest to 800 by 600. Graphics driver to turnip. Also on turnip configuration, set the default version. Also enable sync every frame. On DXVK configuration, leave them to default. If you want, you can also set custom GPU device. That's optional. Select OK, set audio driver to pulse audio. Enable FPS on wine configuration. Same as usual. Set GPU video memory size to maximum, all right? Now go to environment variables, add variable. Select the XVK HUD to enable detailed FPS meter. Set value to one and okay. Enable stats you want display. Now go to advanced. Select startup selection to aggressive. Select Windows 10 version. In processor affinity, enable all CPU cores. All right, now save the container. Wait a minute, here I'll optimize my device to get the maximum free RAM. All right, open one later. Now boot the container. set to toggle full screen. Here there is a screen effect to adjust brightness, contrast, or whatsoever things over here. All right, now let's check out the Direct3D first. Okay, all right, it's working. We are getting almost like 200 plus FPS for a low-end Snapdragon 750 chip. Now the system tools, wine configuration, and it's already set to Windows 10. All right, guys, now it's time to test some intensive titles on it. We are testing out the Assassin's Creed Rogue on 800 by 600 at normal settings. Everything is set to low. And let's see that how it can actually perform. All right, there we go. Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick. Well, you don't like for firewood at least. Hurry, we best not keep Chevalier waiting. I am so sick, Rita.
Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. And the next one, NFS the run. Here I set to the lowest 640 by 480, all set to low. You even set to the very lowest 240p for better FPS, but it looks very bad. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.